what's going on guys what's going on I'm not sure how this is working but I just want to say what's up and give a brief summary of yesterday's fishing trip I figured a quick way for me to let all my bros know let all you guys know current events and how we did yesterday so if you're planning to go fishing uh, I got a few tips for you um, so yesterday's trip first of all was completely amazing uh, amazing trip to me it's a great day in the water not big waves not a lot of wind and just you know a great time fishing making it back home safely and getting back to our families amazing trip don't want to take that for granted take that for granted now as far as the fishing as far as the fishing goes let me say the fish the tuna at least are MIA okay did not see one tuna yesterday at all and we fished all the way down to 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 sundown uh, we uh, took off from Alamitos Bay Long Beach and we made our way to the uh, east end of the, of the island about 10 miles east of the island there was a there was a good temp break out there some uh, you know water was ranging from like 61 to 63 we found a good 10 break 10 miles east of the east end of the island and we fished it gave it a few hours potential you know the signs were there underwater but nothing ever showed on the sonar um, another thing is it's tough out there guys keep in mind we were the only private boaters out there okay uh, I did see like two other two or three other boats in the fleet I'm not sure which ones they were but nobody was out there um, I'm giving this report just to give some intel because I had none and with with the with the weather changing there is no visual from above there is no birds diving there is no breezers every once in a while it happens okay but what I noticed from let's just say when it was warm to the cold is that these what these fish are a little bit deeper and they ain't showing face on top typically when we find them on the sonar they're about 120 feet to 150 and we lure them up with the Mad Max and the frozen flyer so after that zone uh, wasn't producing I decided to go to the uh, to the go-to well we all know the 381 you know has, has been holding fish you know last couple of weeks we've been having success over there so I worked my way to the 381 did see a swordfish anybody even cares I was just minding my own business ran over a swordfish anyways back to business 381 we gave it a few hours not one fish not one tuna uh, we've been off the island about 50 miles we came up to the island uh, we zigzag and no tuna at all but um what else can I tell you about the trip uh, we did we did tr uh, troll the Mad Max these are my go-to's right now when I want to get when I want to get bit I, I bring out the new ones I bring out the ones with no scratches and guess what they still got no scratches let me see uh, if this is even working okay we got one viewer awesome <laughs> so uh, what else can I tell you was um had some notes my closing thoughts on the trip is this guys uh, can't really network right now because no one's fishing so here I am and I've got a few guys maybe one guy who's willing to go this week and go check it out but for the most part fish have moved I'm not even a little bit discouraged I'll be back out there uh, as soon as I get me a window I think I'm gonna wait for a new moon phase uh, I'm not sure what's coming up but something needs to change here because the fish have moved and the conditions are just a little bit different very nice for fishing if you want a nice drive but besides that guys I will report later I did try to experiment with the Facebook and put a poll out there let me see if it worked I'm doing the Facebook live stuff guys because of time I'm gonna start doing more of these Facebook lives because I need to figure out a way to shoot information bring you guys some fishing value 
and not get caught up behind a computer doing some edits. Keep in mind, Hustle and Fish will still be releasing every Saturday. That'll be some good detailed information, not shooting from the hip. So, let me give you guys a, a quick tip on these Mad Max, all right? These things get bit. Everyone knows that. But let me tell you what happens when they, what we do when, when, when we don't get bit. Typically, we're dropping these bad boys. We count about 100 on one and 140 on another. That's, that's pretty far back out there. But when they do not get bit, we either change speed, we try faster, we try slower. But my number, my go-to is let's drop them back even further. These fish don't want to bite. We ran them over. We know they're there. Drop them back another 20 seconds each one. Taking it to about 160 and to about 120 on the other. With that being said, guys, my little fish report is a wrap. I'm still going to answer your text to all the homies. But for, for the majority of you guys, you know, fishing is tough right now. But don't let that discourage you because, you know, it's more rewarding at these times when it's hard to catch. Much love. Hustle and fish. Over and out. Let's go.